So, just by way of applause, who is actually Scottish? <laughs> I don't think, seriously, um, there is anyone more patriotic in the world than the Scots. You are tremendously patriotic. Would you agree with that? <laughs> Nobody loves Scotland like you, really. Um, <laughs> it's unbelievable. I love the way that you take things that aren't Scottish and make them Scottish. Like the egg, for example. Now, we all know what eggs are. Some of you may have had eggs today. I had eggs this morning. You've taken the egg, you've put a bit of breadcrumbs on it. That's a Scotch egg. <laughs> That's our egg, eh? You don't need your English bald eggs. <laughs> You've got egg and bread and a handy testicle-shaped snack, eh? <laughs> What's that you got there? Tape? Put some tartan packaging on that tape. <laughs> That's scotch tape. <laughs> That's our tape. That's the best tape. None of your sell or bullshit tape, eh? <laughs> Every morning I wake up. My brief heart alarm clock. Freedom! That's me up there. <laughs> a couple of scotch eggs, juggle them for a bit. <laughs> Play some hopscotch, why not? <laughs> Dip them in butterscotch, read the Scotsman. Have a glass of scotch, get on the flying Scotsman, head down to London, tell them all to piss off. <laughs> yeah. Have a couple of scotch eggs. A bit more butterscotch, maybe chat up a Scottish widow on the train. <laughs> Break into the Royal Bank of Scotland, steal some Scottish money. And after a third investigation from Scotland Yard, <laughs> get off scot free. <laughs> okay. Could you imagine a better day? They've got their own money in Scotland. <laughs> it's still the pound, but they've got their own money. We don't need your English bastard pounds. <laughs> we'll have our own country, we'll have our own bloody money. <laughs> in Wales, they don't give a shit. They take what they're given, they're not really that bothered. <laughs> you don't go to Wales. If you've got a Tom Jones 20, they're not interested. <laughs> you go to Scotland, we'll have our own, eh? Would you like your own currency? Yes, yeah, complicated mathematically. Let's just have yours with our photos. I think that's the best way. <laughs> if there's business news in Scotland, do they go, I oh, know the business news, it's one pound. To the pound. <laughs> That's a pretty good rate, that, eh? <laughs> you ever tried to use Scottish money in England? <laughs> there's nothing more tense in life. <laughs> when you're standing in the queue in the supermarket <laughs> and you look into your wallet, ten pounds Royal Bank of... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's normal, that's normal, that's normal. Hello, 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 beep, beep, 7.20, hit us ten pounds sterling! <laughs> they look at it like you've just handed them a dead baby. <laughs> Supervisor! <laughs> Luckily, a Scottish person always appears at this moment. I don't know where they come from. It's like they're hiding behind the fruit, just waiting. Excuse me, I think there's a problem with the money. <laughs> Excuse me, pal. I'm not buying anything. I just got to sort this out. There's a problem here. And then they use this sentence that you only ever hear at this one moment in time. It's like it's been created, invented, only for when you're using Scottish money in England. I think you'll find, pal, that's legal tender. <laughs> before he came out that uh, there was a gentleman who had to be moved because he couldn't fit into his seat. Um, now, I thought, I said, oh, can you point him out? And they said, oh, you'll see him. <laughs> um, now, I believe your name is Gregor Edmonds, is that right? And you're like the strongest man in history. Would that be correct? Not quite, no. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> there's God, then there's me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gregor Edmonds. Be honest with me, how many shredded wheat do you eat a day? <laughs> now, I'm disappointed you're not in your big Highland Games uh, gear, because I would expect you to be permanently in it. I love the kilt. Is anybody actually in a kilt tonight? 
It's not a special occasion, I understand that. It's not, it's not a special occasion. But I do love it. It's, uh, I don't really know how it was invented. I've got a sort of theory on this. I think, I think it's basically been created to be as opposite to English people as possible. <laughs> I think at some stage during history, uh, Scottish people got together and said, all right, today we're going to design the Scot, all right? <laughs> now, the theory on this is we're going to have him as opposite to English people as is humanly possible. <laughs> Right, now I've been down there, it's not pretty, it's not pretty. They're wearing trousers. So we're going to open with a skirt. <laughs> Modelling it here is Scott. You're right, Scott? I'm all right. But you've got me in a skirt. I'm not happy about that yet. You've got to hear me out, all right? They have plain black trousers down there, all right? So we're going to go with the multicoloured skirt. In fact, every family a different colour. You all right? <laughs> I'm prepared to listen, fine. They've got little black socks. We're going to go with the long white hockey sock. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling peculiar, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I've been down there and they're all in underpants. So, according to the rules, <laughs> there can be no pants, Scott. Are you out of your bloody mind, eh? You've got me standing here in hockey socks and a skirt with my balls hanging out. <laughs> you sure you've thought this through? I've done my best. What about pockets? Can I have pockets? I mean, I've got to put my money. I mean, I've got good Scottish money. It's very strong right now, the currency. It's one pound to the pound. Where am I going to put it? Can I have pockets? No, I'm sorry, we can't have pockets. English people have pockets. It's not acceptable to have pockets. So what am I going to do? Just carry it around? No, no, no. We're going to have a bag. A bag? Are you out of your mind? I'm already in hockey socks with the balls hanging out and multicoloured skirts. Now you want me walking around with a handbag? It's not on. It's not going to be a handbag. It better not be, because that's girly. It's not girly. We've done everything we can to masculinise the bag. It's going to be a cock bag. <laughs> You're serious? You want me walking around in long white hockey socks with my balls hanging out, with a multicoloured skirt and a cock bag? <laughs> it's still girly. It's still girly to have a bag. I don't care. We've done our absolute utmost to address the situation and it's going to be hairy. <laughs> it's a hairy cock bag. <laughs> You're right with that? I suppose I'm all right with that, but what if people take the pish? I've thought of that too. You're going to have a knife in your sock. All right. 